This is most likely you on your first day of learning a new language, raring, ready to go and ready to dive in. And this is you probably weeks, maybe months later. But it really doesn't have to be like this. And today I want to show, share with you a tip, a method that's really helped me to make sustainable habits that I've kept up throughout my three years so far at medical school, even during the, even during the most busy exam seasons. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Will, I'm a second year medical student here at the University of Manchester and I'm interested in learning languages. So this channel is about meta learning, uh, language learning and a few other topics like productivity. And that's kind of the topic of today. So we're gonna be talking about habits and how to build good sustainable habits into our language learning routine. And I'm going to be using a method which I've kind of borrowed from James Clear. Uh, he wrote an awesome book that I really recommend everyone reads called Atomic Habits. And there's actually a Chinese version of this. I read the Chinese version, it was quite good, although there's some dodgy translations anyway. So it's called the PACT method, where P stands for place, A stands for activity, C stands for Q, and T stands for time. Well, let's dive in. We're going to start with C, which is Q. I know that's, you know, kind of in the wrong order, but in terms of building a habit, it's the right order. I've just kind of called it PACT because it's easy to remember, you know, you're kind of making a packs yeah no you're not getting that are you okay so the first step is c q so we're gonna have a q that's gonna remind us to carry out a certain habit for example for me if you've watched kind of my morning routine video about how i've built in this anki and you know talking to myself in chinese into my morning routine um you'll notice after i've had a shout like, <laughs> and i've like dried myself changed clothes etc i'll just get straight back on the desk and then just bash out like 30 minutes of Anki and that's because so I've got an association there that is my cue like coming out of the shower and then going into that like Mandarin mindset afterwards so you can do the same sorts of thing you need to have a cue that's going to trigger the habit we're going to do the P and the T together so place and time so you're going to set a specific time for carrying out the activity that you're going to do um, so in my case as we've mentioned you know the Anki in the morning that the place is at my desk and the time is, well, I can't remember the specific time now because I just do it when I get out of the shower, but it's, no, it's uh, probably roughly about eight o'clock in the morning. So you need to have a specific time so you can keep yourself accountable for doing that thing at the same time every day. And this will kind of like, I believe, um, Andrew Huberman's mentioned it before about these like kind of anticipatory circuits with the neurons going on so there's changes in your brain such that you like your brain expects for you to do that thing at that set time so that's a, another reason as to why to do it at the same time every day okay and finally we have a which stands for activity so you need to pick a good activity for you to do and i would i would recommend trying to pick one activity at a time and only trying to go for like building one new habit at a time until it's pretty solid and you've done the rest of the pact and then you've, you're, you're pretty sure you're going to maintain that habit and you can do it at the same time every day. And it needs to be sustainable. And a few tips for this activity as well is like to not try and make it too boring. Obviously, it's going to be something that you do enjoy. Sometimes, like for example, Anki for me can be a bit of a love and hate relationship. However, most of the time I do enjoy it quite a lot. It gives me a lot of sense of satisfaction, so I don't mind doing it. So it's got to be something that's genuinely helping you improve in the language that you're learning, right? So for me personally, like as I've said, I don't personally believe there is like this one amazing language method that's going to guarantee that you get fluent. However, it's got to be something that you, from your own experience and trial and error, and maybe learning from other people, you believe is effective. So in this part of the video, we're going to go into a bit of psychology. Uh, you know, as a medical student, you know, I'm not probably not the best person to ask about psychology. Again, that's a love and hate relationship. However, I do think there are two um, important like theories that we have uh, in psychology that will be useful to understand in habit learning and like building habits. So the first one we're going to talk about is operant conditioning, and this is the idea that um, we kind of learn to do a habit as a result of like the rewards and the punishments that we we'll have. Um, for example, if we take my Anki, you know, I will, I will do my Anki partly because I quite like the sense of satisfaction of seeing no new cards due today, you have completed, blah, blah, blah. And then also seeing that I've learned X number of new cards a day. Alternatively, there are also some punishments involved in Anki. So 
for me why it maintains like i've maintained this habit for a long time partly because i know if i miss one day i'm gonna have to do double the amount of cards the next day and that's i don't want that <laughs> so that's that kind of punishment forcing you to carry out this habit and keep it going okay and then we have classical conditioning now classical conditioning is an association so um, in a pretty famous psychology experiment this guy he took some dogs and every time he blew a whistle um, he would give the dogs food and eventually that he'd blow the whistle without giving them food and they'd be salivating because they're ready to like receive that food right so they, their brains are made those dogs are made an association between the whistle and food now for me you know we can take this a step further and it's kind of related to the q aspect of this packed method um what we're saying is that we associate this cue with the thing that we're going to do so in my case getting out of the shower is associated with anki time or another habit that i developed kind of early on in medical school was every time i went out of the house on my own so with no one else to talk to or you know maybe i was going to a lecture or maybe i was uh, going to the library to study i would I would that would be podcast time for me so i kind of had this association i kind of had this classical conditioning that every time i would leave the house um my headphones would be in without me even realizing and i'd be on the my favorite mandarin podcast in no time finally we have my most important tip and that is have fun and keep it interesting you know if you're just doing stuff like boring grammar exercises or whatever, like drilling like exercise and all that kind of thing it actually gets really boring and probably not going to be that useful so Try and have at least one thing in your routine that you actually genuinely enjoy, enjoy doing a lot. So for me, there's a couple, like, for example, I really like speaking to my friends in Mandarin, you know, practicing using my language that I'm learning. And also, I really like watching Chinese TV shows. Like, I feel guilty watching them in English because I feel like I'm not being productive. However, in Mandarin, I can be like, you know, I'm learning Mandarin, it's fine. So that's a really fun thing that I enjoy to do. So I think we should all have at least one of these fun activities in our language learning routine. It doesn't have to be like, like no pain, no gain the whole way through. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If it's been useful for you, I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a like, give me a comment and subscribe down below. And also, you know, I'd really be interested as to what kind of content you guys want. So please do let me know as well. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.